uh, please welcome our next guest, uh, Mr. Daniel Mistry, uh, who will speak to us about transportation. <laughs> Transport. Transport is what billions of people use every day, either it's public or private. So as a result of this, it also plays a big part in pollution. Transport would be a better option if it was friendly for the environment and safe for us. My answer to this problem is a magnetic train. The magnetic train already finds its application in Germany. It works by using a magnetic pillow which is 15-20 meters above ground. The magnetic train goes by a speed of 10 kilometers per hour, so if it crashes, there are no deathly wounds. The magnetic train is also accessible for infants, as there are elevators up to the stations and big enough spaces for wheelchairs. The magnetic train is going to be easier built because already manufacturers exist for this project. If a natural disaster happens, the magnetic train can transport people because it's above ground. Like none other transport, the magnetic train can be powered by electricity, which could come from eco-friendly electric sources, such as wind farms or solar panels or hydroelectricity. Now I will move to future accommodation. The ice cap is melting at an alarming rate. Already 20% of it's melted, and it, this is continuing. There are predictions that another 15 could be melted in the next five years which means a rise in the sea level. If this rate continues, cities near the coast will be flooded. This chart shows the major cities that will be flooded in case of sea level rise. For example, New York, Sydney, Mumbai, and Miami will suffer from sea level rising. So the best option is floating cities. The floating cities are massive constructions built on water near the coast. They can be made out of recycled materials and therefore are eco-friendly to build. This city has a massive garden and underwater house in the States. The transport could be the magnetic train, which I mentioned earlier. These cities could be small for small populations and enormous for cities like New York and Sydney. If we don't start using these ideas or similar, in the next few years, we won't. the Earth and us will suffer badly. The oceans will be filled with trash meaning the plants will be not able to get clean water. This, along with pollution, may result in the air not being breathable. This has already started happening in Beijing, China. Thank you.